Mike Pence continuing the saber rattling, and it seems like this administration likes to send this guy out there with these statements. He did the same thing in terms of Venezuela and the situation there, and he's made statements in terms of the Philippines in the past and China as well, but now directing back at China, he's saying the U.S. is going to expand their Pacific military bases together with Australia in a bid to stop China's growing influence. So what they're going to do here is they're going to work with Australia together. They're going to build and man a naval base in Papua New Guinea on Manus Island. And they're saying they're doing this to protect the freedom of the seas. So if they're making this move, I'd say it's safe to say that they would do this in other regions. If China's going to take these old shoals, build them up, create bases and runways and fortified forts on them, scaring the crap out of anyone that comes through there, anyone with a cargo ship trying to, to deliver goods, they're going to run into the Chinese military. And we've seen what they do as they come up and they hawk the U.S. military. They threaten them. They tell them to get out of there. Other countries like the Philippines, for instance, they're way nastier. And we've seen them come out there with water cannons, blasting other vessels, you know, trying to do everything short of firing shots at them to deter them and get them out of the region. So this announcement is definitely going to ruffle the feathers of China. As soon as they start building it, I can guarantee you they're going to try to grow and expand from here. And they'll have their own little chain of areas to work with essentially starting to surround the South China Sea, working with different elements, because they're already inside the Philippines. For those that have missed it, the Philippines has said that they'll work with the United States in terms of this because China is the bigger threat, and they feel that China is coming down into their territory too, right up under their coastline, trying to claim what they believe is theirs. And so does Vietnam, Malaysia, all those countries say the same thing. So China bullying its way around the South China Sea, and it looks like the United States and Australia are going to try to step up and at least make it to where these inter international shipping lanes are safe. That's one of the major concerns here. Yeah, China wouldn't be happy if they were going through waters near us and they had to deal with, with stuff like that. But this is where it's going in terms of the back and forth between China and the United States. Talk about a Cold War type of feel to this whole thing. And this could be be something that continues for years. But this is the latest, the talk of this base. I'm going to leave a link. I'll update as I come across more. Peace.